Liger is one of the most popular hybrid animals, created by the mating of a male lion with a female tiger. They tend to far exceed the size of both their parents, and although they share similar characteristics with both of them, the liger tends to be more like a lion rather than a tiger. The largest ligers often grow to lengths of more than 3.3 meters or 10.8 feet and weigh more than 400 kilograms or 900 pounds. However, there are reports of some individuals weighing more than 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds. The liger is an enormous animal with a large muscular body and broad head. Ligers tend to have sandy or dark yellow fur, which is covered in the distinctive faint stripes inherited from their mother. Although other variations in fur color have been known, the liger generally has a more lion-like appearance, including the manes of the males. Although a liger's mane is not as big or as impressive as that of an adult lion, they can grow quite large on some individuals. But it is not uncommon for a male liger to have no mane at all. Along with their stripes, which tend to be most noticeable around their hindquarters, the liger may also inherit the spots found on the backs of the tiger's ears, along with the tufted fur around their chins. Despite their gigantic size and the fact that their parents are two of the planet's most ferocious predators, the liger is an animal that is known to have a relatively gentle and docile nature, particularly when interacting with handlers. They have, however, been reported to be slightly confused as to whether they are lions or tigers, as their most bewildering characteristic is the fact that they seem to love water. In the wild, it is not uncommon for tigers to enter the water either to catch prey or to cool down in the heat, and so they are naturally good swimmers, which is something that the liger seems to have inherited. Lions do not like water, however, and so it is often reported that it does take some time for the liger to take to its water-loving lifestyle. Another odd thing is the fact that the liger appears to make both lion and tiger noises, but its roar is more like that of a lion's. Like the rest of the world's felines, the liger is a carnivorous animal, meaning that it hunts and kills other animals to gain its nutrition. Although the wild diet of the liger can only be presumed, it is thought to be similar of that of a tiger, mainly hunting larger herbivores including deer, wild boar, and due to their immense size possibly small vulnerable Asian elephants. In captivity, they tend to eat an average of 20 pounds of meat a day, but it is thought that a liger would easily devour 100 pounds worth of food in one sitting. The liger has an enormous and incredibly strong jaw with sharp, pointed teeth, which are ideal for tearing through flesh. Ligers also have very muscular bodies and sharp claws, which also help them to catch and eat their prey. The liger has been bred by people since the early 19th century, when a litter of liger cubs was born in Asia in 1824. It was more than 100 years, however, until the next recorded litter, which was in a zoo in South Africa just before World War II. Although ligers are known to be quite even-tempered, there remains a great deal of controversy over the cross-breeding of two different animal species, particularly when it is so highly unlikely to occur without human intervention. Today, there are several ligers found in zoos and animal institutes around the world who are bred generally by accident, and kept as a money-making attraction. As you can see, ligers are extremely strong cats and have amazing qualities. But can they cope in the wild? This is a very difficult and virtually unstudied topic. Ligers can only be bred in captivity, and they are mainly bred for zoo attractions, or as pets for the wealthy who can afford them. Neither private owners nor zoos want ligers in the mindset of hunting down live prey, for obvious reasons. And virtually all of them are bred from second or later generation captive lions and tigers, which means their inherent hunting instincts are muted from the start, right down to their genetic coding. In addition to this, while tigers and adult lions are known for being private, more solitary creatures outside of their groups, 
lion cubs are very social and curious creatures in general. It is later as they mature that they become more solitary. Ligers, on the other hand, retain this curious and social lion cub personality throughout their entire lives, which is what makes them more ideal as pets compared to lions and tigers. You can't find any information about liger hunting habits, no matter how hard you look, because all ligers are bred in captivity and fed non-living food throughout their lifespan. Our guess is that they would be similar to house cats, and that if they do end up hunting, it is not for food, but for sport, meaning they would probably only go after small creatures like rabbits or squirrels. There have been several liger attacks in the past, but this seems more to do with the creature waking up on the wrong side of the bed rather than hunting for food. In terms of capability, most ligers have a hanging belly that many house cats develop rather than the lean appearance we think of when we think of a wild tiger. But in terms of physical capacity, ligers are as densely built as tigers, which are much more densely built than lions. Which is why, in Roman times, when the two were pitted against each other in the Colosseum, the tiger won far more often than the lion, even though more bets were placed on the lion. Ligers are also much larger. So, if a liger had the same fighting and hunting mentality as a wild tiger or lion, it should be able to take down much larger prey than either or comparably sized prey, but with much more success, assuming it can match the speed and chase the prey down. We imagine if you took a liger cub and introduced it to a lion pride when it was just a cub, and they did not kill or abandon it, but instead took it in, it would do just fine, and maybe even end up leading the pride one day, even if it was a female, given it would be so much larger than any male that came along. But if you just dropped a liger, bred and raised in captivity by humans into the wild, it would probably starve or get attacked and killed, even possibly by a lion pride if it came into contact with one. Their environment would also play a role. A single liger living on the African plains may not live very long. Despite their strength and size, a water buffalo, elephant, or rhino are vastly stronger than a liger and while a liger may be able to take down a water buffalo, a water buffalo would definitely be able to take down a liger as well. There are plenty of videos of water buffaloes goring and tossing lions through the air like dolls, and we doubt that a liger would fare much better if caught by a water buffalo's horns. If the liger were attacked by multiple buffalo, then it's done for. A pack of liger would probably dominate through most water buffalo, a liger in a tiger's natural habitat of jungles and forests may not be the best option. The size of a liger would be detrimental to sneaking through a forest or jungle, attempting to ambush prey, and it may be hard for it to consistently sneak up on and catch food. Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. What do you think would happen if ligers would be released into the wild? We are waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.